Okay, everybody, if you're wondering, that is not a real cell tower. I can tell you that right now. That's a fake one. Definitely a fake cell tower. Um, no, state, um, the only cell tower nearby and the only one that I should be could ever be connected to is actually um, in plain view here. But I can't really get a good view from here now, but I'll show you guys later. It's practically, literally, um, you can practically see it from the window view from here. So, that's a fake cell tower. Especially with it being in the middle of the road. Of the highway like that. Yeah, they. I don't think they do uh, cell towers like that. They, they, they don't ever put them in the middle of the road. At least I don't think so. So why am I getting this evidence down? And they're probably listening. I don't care. I'm going to basically go into, uh, I'm, I'm mapping this stuff down so I can go out and actually extract one of these units that they have placed. That's what I'm about to go do. What this will be is uh, undeniable evidence because there's so many, and yes, you hear that beeping off. He's rushing to go run them out. There's too many units for them to basically try to prevent me from grabbing one. Too many, way too many. And there's a shit tons more, pardon my language, but there's a lot more all throughout here as well. A lot. That's far too many for them to have to extract. And trust me, if they even, if I catch them digging up even one, I can still get vis vid um, video footage of it. So it should be no mistake that they're extremely paranoid right now. And they're very uh, worried. Probably gonna try to um, gaslight me from doing it, but I um, basically made this known, and here's the deal: there's no denying this that's happening. There's no gaslighting this. There is no um, going out of your way to basically try to say no, this isn't real. And if I catch anybody saying it's not real, you're basically accessory to the crime that they're doing. So you're putting yourself out there. So this is a warning to you too. You could just like the video, not, nah, I don't care. But um, that would make you an accessory to it. So, I mean, you got one warning. I warned, I warned people about it before, <laughs> but um, you, you can't debunk this. You, you just can't because there's no denying any of it. There is none. There's too much, too many people who are in, who has high classifications, who are admitting to this. The United Nations are admitting that this is happening. So, am I supposed, who am I supposed to take um, word over when it comes to this situation? The United Nations or some random idiot in the middle of a neighborhood trying to debunk the situation that's happening? Yeah, I thought so. So when it comes to this, think about it. Who would have more information on this? A random idiot or the United Nations? Who would have more information? A lot more. That's fact number one. Who would have the most first, uh, you know, first hands on of this information when it came out? Of course, targeted individuals will have, but I'm talking. I'm not talking about TIs. I'm talking about actual, actual. When it comes to people who can actually, like, you know, really prove this stuff, and the people who we need to prove it. By the way, you know, TIs, of course, but we need more people in the government talking about this as well, because that's the only way we're going to be able to really shed a light on this. And it's a good thing the UN is talking about this. But when you see, when you see, the article is there, man. The article is there. Cyber torture exists, okay? It exists. And it isn't just hacking. No, it's a lot more. Uh, it's a lot more added on to that. It's a hell of a lot more added on to that. So here's the thing. I now know who is uh, collecting my data illegally. I know where they live. So with me knowing that information, clearly I'm gonna know who they are. I know who they're sending to spray these chemtrails in my direction. 
So I have two leads, two major leads. So the question is, who are they getting this smart dust from? Who are they buying it from? That's the next question. Because you see, they're getting it from somewhere. They're getting it from somewhere, but the, the whole thing is where. And the problem was you didn't you didn't know like who was doing what and who was responsible. Now we have what we need to basically get that information down. And remember that tower that I basically oh wait, hold on, where is that? That's basically out there. So you see you see what I'm getting at when I'm saying that there's just far too many things out there for them to just remove. And they're not gonna remove it because then they have to start all over again. But you see, it really fucks them up in the situation. And by the way, just for the record, just to make the record clear, this is a compound with tons of cameras all over it. Okay, a lot of cameras out there, a lot of cameras on the outside, a lot of cameras on the inside. So at the same time of when these perps are going back and forth, they are on camera moving back and forth. When they are doing this, and I'm gonna tell you what they're doing. What they are doing is informing the people who are in charge of this illegal operation that is taking place in, as you see right now. They are reporting to them um, that way. And there's even a camera which they installed right outside my apartment unit. That's not um, that's not the uh, camera that belongs to the uh, apartment industry. No, because every single camera on the other floors are very different. That makes you that would make you wonder why would they allow such a thing to happen? And I, I again I have evidence of that. Of their people's faces and everything. Of them swapping those cameras out. So why would the apartment complex allow this operation to take place? Why would they allow such oh I'll tell you why, because they were paid to allow it to take to allow it to take place. So I want people to understand. Um, cause I gave, already since Ben gave out the name of the, uh, apartment complex, Blue Bonnet Towers. Yeah. I don't, I have no shame in telling them what the name is right off of Blue Bonnet. I have no shame because you see, I want people to know this because this is exactly what's going to prove this. Now that if you're wondering, if all of you are wondering like about the Kanika Jenkins situation, this was no different. This is exactly no different from what she went through. The only problem was she kept hanging around these uh, those motherfuckers who were basically in on it and that's how she put herself in more danger now i'm not telling every ti to just make their location known but i'm just giving you a warning that it would be beneficial to it would be somewhat beneficial to you to do so because of how you know the significance of how dangerous the situation really is because you see in her case you know she was hanging around those people and what did they do? They they hid the evidence. But what I did, I blew their whole fucking psyop out of a portion. I blew the lid off of it. So it's no longer even a psyop anymore. It's just, it literally is just seen as illegal activity being con uh, conducted in real time. The time is 725, Tuesday, June 30th. There's no denying any of this shit. There's no making it up. The freaking apartment complex allowed it. They um, allowed this to happen for quite a long time now, and it's just me catching up to it, getting all of this evidence down. Now then, um, one thing needs to be uh, noted that, remember, the people who own this building are well aware that this is happening. Their staff is well aware, as well as a couple people who live in this apartment complex all of them are know, knowing that this is happening. They know it's happening. If you and now if anything was to happen and they try to lie and they try to say, no, no, we don't know nothing. They are lying to you. OK, they are lying to you. Why? Because they don't want to be exposed. So understand if anything happens, they are accessory to that something that happened. They were involved. They had something to do with it. And this is me giving my statement to that because I know they had something to do with it because everything that they're doing seems to be completely connected just as well to it, which is gaslighting, which is character defamation, which is uh, and which is the same thing that happened at my job, my, my job I don't have anymore. All of that happened there. So the trail fits 
all of this is happening from here. So, of course, this would also happen at where I was working at. It makes sense, doesn't it? And I have actual footage. Every other TI saw it on my channel, on my guide channel. If you look back down the dates, you'll see that I was being beamed with high effects of radiation. High effects of radiation and proof that I was being hacked way before I lost that job. So, of course, that's my evidence that, yes, that took place at my old job. My, the people in there knew about it. The co-workers knew about it. The boss uh, knew about it. My supervisor knew about it. They all knew about it. And they lied. They bold-faced lied. They hid evidence. And this is basically... Um, uh, uh, this basically... Uh, this no torch torture thing is basically murder. Over time. It, it may be like slow... It's like slow kill, but it's still murder. This thing's still going awesome. And this isn't the only thing that which I'm just going through. There are other people going through the exact same thing. They'll tell you just the same. I struggled to basically get this information out there for everybody. So, as you see, that ain't no uh, real cell tower. It is not. Because, first off, as far as I remember, why would I would be connected to a cell tower in that direction when there's one not too far from here? And uh, I am picking tinnitus up right now. So they're basically listening in on what I'm talking about. So right now I need to calm down. And I need to go track this equipment down.